Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a skating video. Today we're going to be doing a few warm-up exercises that are for beginners and incorporate some nice arm movements into them. But before that, I just want to mention that my mom and I have a nice little cute small shop selling headbands for skating or if your ears are cold in the winter, we use various colors and various crystal stones on them. So check us out. So the first exercise is we're just going to be going down into our knees and then coming all the way up. Our knees are nice and bent and our back leg is going to be stretched. So it's kind of like ski glides, but with our body going down. So make sure you're going down with a nice flat back. Your arms are coming forward, then coming up in a nice oval position and then coming out to the sides. So we go down with the arms and body as we go into our knee and then we come up and stretch and our legs are both stretched when we come up, making sure that that back leg comes a little bit forward. So let's take a nice little back view of the exercise, making sure that our outer foot is in a nice outside edge and our inner foot, so the back foot, is on an inside edge. So this is really great if you are working on your outside edges, but you're just still not so sure about doing them on one foot or it's just not so possible, this is a great way. You can do this also without the body movement, just going down into your knee, and just going down with the arms and then up. I have that in my other exercise video, so you can check that out and I'll link it above. Next exercise is gonna be incorporating a ski glide again. So we're just doing a nice little crossover and then ski glide with the arms up. So in this exercise, we're starting with the crossover and then staying on that same circle with our ski glide. And then we're going to the other side. Now, don't feel pressure to do this with arms right away. You can do them with your arms out to the sides and just make sure to stay on that nice outside edge when you're doing the ski glide. Now, looking at it from the back, you can see it very well how I stay on that same circle. This is really important and sometimes when I see it with my students, they kind of miss the circle. So make sure that you do this crossover and the ski glide on that same curve. Otherwise, you're going to get lost and the exercise is just not going to work so well. And there are many arms you can do with this exercise. You can do your arms going all the way up, both of them, like I'm doing here. You can also do this with just one arm going up. So when you would be doing that, you would do the same arm as the bent knee in a ski glide. You can also do it with just one arm down, one arm up. That's also another variation. And again, the arm would go down where the knee is bent. Now we're gonna do the same thing going back. So I'm sure you've seen this exercise everywhere. I have been doing it since the beginning of my skating career. It's super old, so it's a very classic exercise. Doing a back crossover, and you're just doing a nice little glide to the side, and then you're doing it to the other side. And in the crossover, I'm not having any kind of arm movement, just my arms out to the side. And then in the nice glide to the side, I bring my arms up making sure that you are staying on a nice inside edge when you're doing the side glide. So as you can see here, I'm staying on an inside edge with my outer foot and my inner foot is a little bit on the inside edge as well. Really take care that you stay on that inside edge because it can happen for some people that they go on an outside edge and it can be quite difficult to learn. So don't let this exercise fool you, it looks simple but it can be a little bit challenging. And again, you can do all kinds of arms with this. You can always just add a different arm in, the nice glide to the side, and just make sure to do some nice big crossovers here. Next exercise, we're gonna be doing a nice little baby edge, as I like to call it, and then two ski glides. So always doing an outside edge on that baby edge, outside edge, and then taking two ski glides. 
Here in this exercise, I am adding just one arm up in this baby edge. So always doing the same arm as my standing leg. And then for the ski glides, I'm bringing both arms up. Now once again, you can totally do this without any arms if you're just starting out and your balance is just not there yet. Go ahead, do it with no arms and then just work your way up to getting an arm up. My leg position in these baby edges is nice and turned out and my foot is about the height of my ankle or the back of my heel. And I don't really bring it up higher because then my hip flexor is getting a really crazy workout. So don't feel pressured or feel like you need to bring that leg really high up. It's just enough if you keep it at the ankle or heel. And I'm always trying to keep that hip open. As I said before, this is gonna help you hold the edge a little bit better. And I've done this exercise in my other videos where I did some beginner edge exercises. So I'll link that up above. And next exercise is, now let's take one more look at it in slow-mo from the back. Really pay attention to how I'm going on the outside edge here in the ski glide. And then in the second one, and then again in the baby edges. So this is a really good exercise if you have a lot of problems with your outside edges. Most people are more comfortable with inside, so it's kind of an exercise that helps a lot of people. So I hope you liked this video and I hope these exercises help you and help with your artistry and how you move your arms. It's really important in skating and sometimes we just don't get a chance to do it so often. So I really hope it helps you to get those graceful movements in. So anyways, thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you all next time. Bye.